The United States began erecting Atlas missile silos, and they placed one at Walker Air Force Base in Roswell. The Atlas F sites involved missiles and hardened sites that were 185 feet deep. Wayne Matson is a retired lieutenant colonel, a graduate of the Naval Academy, and a former Air Force pilot. He also holds a missile man's badge for working with missiles in his military career. Initially, there were to be nine sites, but cancellation of some other military projects allowed funds for an increase to 12 sites. Each of the silos consisted of 7,500 yards of concrete and 350 tons of steel. And that meant more silos in and around Roswell, including along US-70 and 380. Four sites in the Roswell area were located on state land, two on BLM land, and the remaining six on land leased from various ranchers. Each silo housed a five-man crew in a launch control center 40 feet below the Earth's surface. Surface. To enter, visitors had to go through a hardened concrete stairwell. Air police guarded the facilities 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And TV surveillance watched everything and everyone. For almost three years, Air Force personnel maintained a constant state of alert in the missile silos at Roswell. Now the Atlas had minimal or no support structures. Pressure in the tanks provided the structural rigidity required for flight. An Atlas missile sitting on its tail would collapse under its own weight if the tanks were not kept pressurized. This term applied was 